I've said time and time again that thighs are my favorite part of the chicken. Well today, I'm gonna to be smoking up some sweet and spicy chicken thighs out on the pit barrel cooker. So there are two components to this, the sweet and the spicy. We're gonna deal with the spicy first, and that's the rub. We're gonna start with a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm using a hatch chili powder. Two teaspoons of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons of granulated garlic. A half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And one teaspoon of kosher salt. Let me get our lid on here. Give this a shake. There we go, that's all there is to it. Let's move on to the sweet part of this. So what we're starting with for the sweet part of this, which is a honey peach glaze, is six ounces of peach preserves, peach jam, peach bellini, anything like that. There are some nice chunks of peach in here. It's gonna be great flavor. To this, we're gonna add three tablespoons of honey. About a tablespoon of a spicy brown mustard and half a cup of barbecue sauce. This is just sort of a plain store-bought barbecue sauce, no added flavors, nothing like hickory or anything like that, just run-of-the-mill barbecue sauce. We're gonna mix this up. Let's have a little taste here just to see. Sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. That little bit of mustard in there sort of dials it back just a bit. All right, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator and we're gonna move on to our chicken. So what I have here are 10 bone-in chicken thighs. They have the skin on them, but we're gonna remove those. I like to remove the skin a lot of the time when I'm just gonna be doing some sort of smoked chicken like this because that skin's not gonna get crispy. It might dry out a little bit, but because we're gonna be glazing it, I want all the flavor to go onto the meat. So we're just gonna get in here, take the skin off. We're gonna trim off any excess fat. Any of the big pieces. Now you can save this chicken skin and deep fry it up, make some like chicken skin cracklins. I've done that before when I was making a chicken salad, you add those crispy bits to it, really good, nice texture. Again, we're just gonna go in here and any of the excess fat Try and get those big hunks off of here. So with the skin removed now and it trimmed up a bit, we're gonna go ahead and add our rub to this. Get a nice sprinkling on everybody. Nice little dusting on everybody here. All right, these are ready. Let's get them out to the PBC. Get our chicken thighs on the PBC, bone side down. All right, we have our internal temperature probe in place. Let's get the hanging rods back in, the lid on, and get smoking. So the ultimate temperature we're gonna be taking these chicken thighs to is 165 degrees, that's a safe temperature for chicken. At about 120 degrees though, that's when we're gonna glaze them with that honey peach glaze. I'm burning some hickory in the PBC today for smoke. I love hickory with chicken, especially chicken thighs. These more than likely won't take very long, probably no more than an hour, but it's all about temperature. You gotta get it to that safe temperature. So I'll bring you back when we're close to that 120 so we can glaze these. All right, we just hit 120 internal. It's time to glaze these chicken thighs. Go ahead and move the rods so we have better access. Get a good coating on these pieces. All right, that's looking good. Let's get our lid back on and finish smoking to 165. 
All right, we just hit 165 internal at 58 minutes, so just under an hour. Those are looking good. I'm gonna check these with the Thermopop, just get some verification temperatures. 170, 167, 68. Yeah, we are good. All right, I'm gonna get these off, get them inside. We're gonna have a taste of these sweet and spicy chicken thighs. All right, here is our sweet and spicy smoked chicken, fresh off the PVC with that honey peach glaze on it. Nothing to do but to cut into this right now, so let's find a good one. I think I'm gonna go actually with this guy right here from the front. Let me slide these to the side. Oh, beautiful, nice and juicy, really juicy, just perfect. It's why I love chicken thighs, so much fat in them, you get all that great juice, all that great flavor. And when you do it like this with the skin removed, you don't have to worry about that rubbery skin, non-crispy skin. There's nothing wrong with the skin if it's cooked, but if you really want the flavor on the meat, this is really one of the more preferred ways that I like to do this. It just is so incredibly juicy here. All right, no more time to waste. It's time to taste. Here we go. First taste of this smoked sweet and spicy chicken. Let's see. Mm. As you could see on the board there, we had that minor chicken juice lunch, and it is just incredibly moist. If that's what you really like in chicken, go for the thighs. That's where you're almost always gonna get good juice. It's not gonna dry out unless you severely overcook it. And when you're doing 165, 170, some people even take it as high as 180. I prefer that 165, 170 range. If you cook it in that range, you're gonna have just fantastic juiciness. A lot of really nice sweetness on this, just a faint hint of heat. Now, if you wanna kick the heat up on this, double up on the chili powder. Instead of one teaspoon, use two teaspoons. What I wouldn't do though, is turn the sweet sauce into a hot sauce. You really want those competing flavors here. This tastes pretty good to me. We have people in our family who don't like real heat, but if it was just for me, I'd go two teaspoons, maybe even three of chili powder and really kick up that heat on the bottom layer here. Total cook time on the PBC, just under an hour. That's really not bad when you're talking about cooking 10 chicken thighs and getting these sort of results. Oh. And when you make that glaze, reserve some, and that way you can put some on right at the end like I did here on the cutting board. Just fantastic top flavor on there. Come on. So if you don't like struggling with chicken skin that might be rubbery or not get as crispy as you like, take it off. Give yourself a base layer of a nice rub, some sweet glaze on the top, and give it time in some great smoke. I like hickory. You're gonna have fantastic chicken that is as juicy and flavorful as any you're gonna make.